Um, there's, there's always five minutes at the beginning of a day when you sit there and go, ah, my ass is hanging out of my costume. But once you get used to that and once you realise that actually nobody really cares, um, then it's, it's fine. I live here in Morecambe. I live here with my husband and my four-year-old son. My eldest brother got me into Star Trek when I was quite young. My other brother took me LARPing. They were always quite encouraging of my more creative side. I used to work in an office as an administrator and uh, it was just not what I wanted to do, so I quit. All I wanted to do was make costumes all day long. When I went to my first event, it was just, these are people that I can relate to. Getting to a convention is like stepping into Wonka's chocolate factory. It's a total playground. There is absolutely nothing wrong with healthy escapism. When it goes too far and you're living in the character completely, and I know people who do, um, you know, it's, it's a very easy trap to fall into. What do we think of reality? Ooh. I think we all like the attention. Everybody, clearly everybody does. I wouldn't be wearing this if I didn't like people taking photos. I love to cosplay strong women. Uh, usually with an element of crazy to them. Do keep up, darling. I enjoy our chats. <laughs> elements of these characters reflect elements of my own personality. I, I love cosplaying Leia. Uh, it's, it's something that I never really thought I'd have the confidence to wear. As you grow up, you, you change and you, you become more aware of yourself and more confident in yourself. So, yeah, now it's mine. I had to stop somebody from uh, taking photos of my ass yesterday. Thank you very much. I, th I think there's nothing wrong with really a good perv. And to be honest, in your own head, you're free. But this is not in your own head. It's in my space, and that's not allowed. I really don't like the idea of calling women in sexy cosplay sluts. I hate that idea. Some characters are just drawn like that. Some costumes are revealing. Some women decide to wear them, and that's that's fine. You know, if they've got the confidence to wear something like that, then more power to them. Great. Uh, so long as it covers your baps and covers your bush in public, then fine. One of the sort of misconceptions is it's like a fetish thing or something, and you know, yeah, there is there is crossover into that world, but there's crossover into that world from every part of society, not just. Uh, the cosplay crowd. I find it hilarious when people do hook up. They'll refer to whoever they've hooked up with by character. For example, I, you know, I pulled Wonder Woman last night, or you know, I picked up so and so. Um, <laughs> I know a couple of people who've managed to shag in the Gallifrey TARDIS, <laughs> for example. <laughs> My husband Andy is a cosplayer as well. He's very well known on the Game of Thrones scenes, and I made his kit. <laughs> so <laughs> trousers are fine. Having a husband is like having another child, and you don't have to supervise them all the time, but there are consequences when you don't. I'm a photographer, um, so it's kind of mutually beneficial for us, because I can I photograph her cosplays. OK, if you want to turn slightly to your left and um, sort of look past me, that'd be good. OK. Uh, I've also posed for nude photos from time to time that are online. <laughs> Yeah, she was uh, completely naked. Um, obviously, I'm fine with that. That's cool. <laughs> so once someone commented on one of my online photos, and I have to admit to having a bit of a moment of insecurity about that, the comment was, curvy? Fat is not the same thing as curvy. Generally speaking, do I give a fuck if I eat cookies, burgers and pies? No. If I wasn't cosplaying, I'd have a lot more money. I'd probably be bored. I think what it would have been like if I'd stuck working in offices. No, doesn't bear thinking about. 